this architectural design project uh, named AS1005 Mountain Home, you're going to be using Floor Planner to uh, recreate a floor plan for a client. So the scenario is a client is looking to sell their home. And due to the pandemic situation, public open houses for homes are not advised. With this in mind, your client is looking for a new and creative way to showcase their home to potential buyers. The client has taken measurements of the first floor of the home and provided you with a sketch. The client has also made a schedule of doors, windows, and finishes. At this time, the client would like only for you to create the first floor layout using CAD. If the client likes your work, additional CAD services may be requested. So your tasks are as follows. Using the information provided in the attached PDF files, create the first floor plan using floorplanner.com. Name your project AS1005 dash first initial and last name. So for an example, be AS1005 dash G dot King. Review all sketches and schedules to become familiar with them before you start. Read all notes carefully. Create the floor plan and add finishes. Do not add any furniture at this time. If additional information is needed from the client, please use the attached RFI template. An RFI stands for Request for Information. If no additional information is needed, please indicate that no additional information is needed on the RFI file and submit. When you are done, please turn in this assignment via Google Classroom. Let's take a moment to look at the PDFs. So PDF 1 of 2 for Mountain Home. This is the actual first floor plan that the client has provided you. Now please note that all in, uh, dimensions are from interior finishes, not from the center line or from exterior of finishes. So there may or may not be some questions with regard to sizes uh, of dimensions and rooms. If there are questions of uh, sizes or dimensions or how things are laid out, that is something that you're going to want to take note of and put in your request for information form so you can get clarification, verification, excuse me, from the client. So let's go back and let's take a look at the second PDF, which this is all the windows and door tags and some extra notes and finish schedules within. So in the finish schedules, you're gonna notice uh, that you have the location and you have the floors, the floor type HD wood is considered hardwood and the walls is paint. In terms of color, you guys can choose whatever color you would like for paint. This may change based on the client directive later on. Uh, down below here in the kitchen, bath, and hallway, uh, there is something called LVT with wood. And LVT stands for luxury vinyl tile. So whenever you see LVT slash wood, that means that that luxury vinyl tile has a uh, wood texture to it, as opposed to LVT slash tile has a tile look to it. And that's something you could jump onto a website like uh, homedepot.com or lowes.com or just do a general search for luxury vinyl tile to get a, an idea of what that is. So let's go back and let's take a look at that RFI template or the request for information. So let's open this up. And the purpose of a request for information is to compile all of your questions into one location so that your so that your client or whoever you're working for can look at one file and give you all the responses. So for example, in this scenario where we have multiple designers working on the same project, if uh, designers have questions, they would be calling the client you know, every other hour or every other day, whatever it may be. And it can be very cumbersome for the clients not to have stuff in one uh, collective area to respond to. So by putting our questions down on a request for information, such as you see on your screen here, it allows not only us to keep a tab, uh, us being designers, a tab of uh, what we're asking for in terms of questions, but it also gives the client uh, a response area so we can check things back and forth and make sure that all of our questions are being answered. In larger projects where you have lots of questions, it's also nice to keep uh, an RFI uh, log going because not all of your questions are going to be answered immediately. Sometimes we have to go back to questions uh, that we may have had at the beginning of the project later on in the project. And this is a good way of making sure that all of our information is in one area and we can uh, refer back to it if needed. So again, if you have no questions for the client at all, I'm just asking you to please put that there are no, there, there's no additional information requested and still submit this, uh, this RFI. Please make sure that you fill out the top Half as best you can so that way we can make sure that all of our RFIs are um, labeled correctly so we can find them later if needed. 
So once you're all done with the floorplanner.com assignment um, and the RFI template, please turn in your, your assignment for grading. And if the client is happy with what they see, they uh, will issue you additional work for this floor plan. So please take your time and make sure that this floor plan is exactly how you want it and exactly how you think that the client wants it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel to email Mr. King or Mr. Mez and we'll help you out.